Since 2001, 2,309 servicemen and women have lost their lives in Afghanistan during Operation Enduring Freedom. This was just one theater of the wars following the September 11th attacks. But in March, no U.S. troops died in Afghanistan, the first time that's happened since 2007. The numbers come via the Department of Defense, marking only the third time an entire month went by without any U.S. troop deaths since the global war on terror began 12 years ago. What's more, Time reports this is the first time since February 2003 no American troops died in either Afghanistan or Iraq. One month, two countries, and no U.S. deaths. That ends a very grim streak of 133 consecutive months, with at least one service member being killed in those countries. The lack of U.S. military deaths in March don't necessarily mean a decrease in violence, though. Just days ago, five Taliban militants attacked the Independent Election Commission building in Kabul, Afghanistan, to presumably disrupt upcoming elections. The month of zero American troop deaths in Afghanistan comes after the Obama administration announced a possible full withdrawal by the end of 2014. The U.S. and Afghan governments have so far failed to reach a security agreement which would keep up to 10,000 U.S. and NATO troops in Afghanistan past 2014 for training and security purposes. So far, there have been 14 U.S. deaths in Afghanistan this year. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.